Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So, it's been a little while since I've posted a video and there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, so I actually had two videos filmed ready to go to show you guys. Uh, but unfortunately, I had some issues with my camera in that I had accidentally put tape over the microphone and so the audio was absolutely unusable. So unfortunately I wasn't able to use that footage um, and upload it and show you guys what was going on and what I've been up to. So I'm going to have to just fill you in now with what's been going on um, and, and what's changed. So essentially the first thing was, like the first video I did I just went out to a little car meet locally that was pretty cool. It's mostly muscle cars. Um, so that was just a bit of a like a nice meet that I went to so it's not too big of a shame that I lost that stuff but um there's another video that I put together and that was in respect to Ed, so the ED Civic. So last week, would have been last week, a week and a half ago, something like that, almost two weeks ago now, I was driving to work in Ed um, and I had to go to one of our offices to pick up some stuff and then I was going to spend the rest of the day working at another office. So I got to our first office at about 7.30 to go pick up all my stuff. Um, and then I was getting back in Ed to go drive to the other office and as I'm pulling out of the spot uh, I felt something slip I saw like a pop noise and then all of a sudden Ed's right front wheel was no longer connected to the steering so essentially it was uh, immobilized it couldn't move um, I couldn't steer it because obviously you know that wasn't happening so I couldn't get it out of the spot or anything so I basically had to just leave Ed there for the day um, and then I had a few of the guys come help me and pick it up. So we borrowed a trailer um, and jumped in the car. There's a few of the guys who you, who you would know from previous videos um, and we drove out there to pick it up. Uh, put it on a trailer, um, took it to a, a little meet. Um, so that was kind of cool. <laughs> Just like an impromptu midweek meet with the Hillis guys. Um, and then, you know, uh, dropped it off back home. After that happened, I was sitting there um, and I was thinking, you know, I didn't spend a lot of money on buying Ed. Um, and I'd sort of gotten to the point where I was like, you know, I think it's time for something different. It's time for a new car. It's time to so, start. Aaron, a friend of ours, App App, he bought the car um, and he's ended up fixing it up. Essentially, it was just the inner tie rod end had come apart and, and disconnected so uh, it was no longer connected to the steering um, so he ended up fixing up Ed and he's got it now so I sold it to him um, and I decided that I wanted to get something that was newer so a little bit safer a little bit more comfortable a better daily driver but I also wanted something that was manual because Ed was automatic and I wanted something that had a bit of long-term potential if I decided you know I might actually do a few things to this car and make it a bit quick and make it a bit fun so that brings us to what I'm in today. So, as you can see from the interior, it's quite Luxo. And um, as you may be able to tell, it's, it's manual too, so it ticks those things. It's a 2006 Honda Accord Euro luxury model. So it is a six-speed manual with the K24, which is the uh, 2.4 liter four-cylinder VTEC motor. Um, it has heated leather seats, sunroof, climate control, uh, you name it, automatic rain sensing wipers, it's fully decked out with options and it makes it a really comfortable daily drive. But because it's the manual with the VTEC, it's also quite fun. And you know what, for a big family sedan, it's pretty quick. It has a lot of potential as well, so there'll be a few things that come along along the way. Um, but for now, I'm just really happy with, with what I've got. Picked it up, um, had 160,000 Ks on it, six months rego. Um, I mean, it has a couple of little scrunch, uh, scrapes and dents around the place. I mean, it's a pretty much a what? How old is, would this be now? 11 year old car. So it's going to have a few little car park dings and things like that. Overall, it's pretty tidy. Um, the interior smelled a lot like cigarette smoke. The guy obviously smoked in the car. So I spent ages just trying to clean the interior really well and get the smell out. So that's why I like the leather and everything looks super fresh right now. Um, and that's pretty much it's pretty much gone. Once I live and drive in this car a little bit more, um, that smell will, you know, disappear. Ed broke on the Monday. On the Wednesday night, 
I went out and looked at this car after work. I just went out and had a look at it, took it for a test drive, thought it was pretty good. I uh, decided just to think about it uh, for a few days um, and then on the Saturday I went around and picked up the car. But what I noticed, which I didn't when I took it for a test drive, is that the car vibrates a little bit or noticeably on acceleration. So it sort of get that feeling through the chassis a bit. And the reason I didn't pick up on that when I bought the car is the guy who was selling it lives further out um, where the roads aren't smooth sealed roads, they're more like rough bitumen. And so I couldn't pick up on it because that's just the quality of the road out there and it just felt like, you know, it was just vibration and, and through the road surface. So what it turns out to be is the, um, the inner CV joints on the drive shafts. So at the moment I'm on the way to um, the major garage which has been in a few previous videos um, and we're actually going to be chucking in a couple of new drive shafts. Now every Honda I've bought has had issues with the drive shafts and it has always had an issue with the battery. The battery has always been on, on its way out and this car is no different. So I actually need to purchase a new battery for this car which will be coming on Monday. Uh, so thanks to James for hooking me up with a, with a cheap new battery for the car. And then the car will be perfect, ready to go, mint, and we can start the, the journey with the fun stuff. So I guess I just wanted to update you guys on what's been happening, um, where I've been, why there's been no videos. I also want to take this opportunity to thank you guys. Um, I'm getting a whole bunch of you know, messages on uh, Facebook. Uh, through YouTube Messenger, even on Instagram you guys are messaging me, asking questions about my videos, about the cars and stuff. It's really cool. I love getting back to you guys. Um, I'm really busy at the moment because as you may or may not know, I'm organizing my wedding at the moment. So it may take me a few days to come back to you, but I will reply to everyone, I promise. So thanks for your support. Um, I noticed that we just cracked over 800 subscribers, which is insane. My original target for this year was by you know, end of 2017 was to crack 500 subs and we're already over 800. So that's incredible. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, and yeah, I just overall, I'm, I'm really enjoying the process of making the videos. And now that we've got this, um, we can do some really interesting stuff with it. We can start entering it into a few rally sprints, um, do some motor carners, do some bigger track days, everything. This We can do it all in this car. So there'll be some really good content coming and I hope you guys will stick around and enjoy that as well. At the moment, like I said, I'm you know organizing my wedding. Um, we bought a unit off the plan uh, a couple years ago and that's gonna be finished in the next few months. So we're gonna be moving out. There's a lot of expenses coming through. So my budget for my videos and for the car and stuff is uh, not what it used to be. Um, but that said, if you guys have any requests or ideas for things, please let me know. Um, I know I've spoken to a few of you guys over messages, you know, about coming out and driving your cars and doing reviews on them or, you know, helping you with mods that you guys are doing. Um, I still want to do that, but like I said, I'm really time poor at the moment, so I apologize for that. Um, but, you know, I, I do appreciate the messages and I, I, I still got it in the back of my mind, so uh, please don't think I'm just brushing you off or whatever. It's just, you know, this, this YouTube channel is a um, hobby for me and, um, I, I mean, I, it's nowhere near big enough or it doesn't make any money at all. So I can't really use it as a part-time job or an income or anything. So it's really, really when I only have time, I can work on it. And I try really hard to, to be regular with content and all that sort of stuff for you guys. But I hope you understand. Um, anyway, I think that's enough rambling and going on about hoo-ha and whatever. So I'm on the way now to go fix up the drive shafts and I've got um, actually a Bluetooth kit that I'm going to install on the car and a few other things. So I'll put that up in a new video that will come out after this. Um, but thanks again you guys for watching as always, really appreciate it. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Let me know what you guys are thinking about what I'm doing at the moment, what you think of the Accord, um, you know, what I've got planned, you know, the ideas for videos I've got and that sort of stuff. Uh, that would be really cool. Uh, but otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. So thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.